everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we will be reviewing everything covered in this week's dev blog, dev blog 16. This dev blog covered the second half of the 0.9.7 update cycle, as well as gave more insight into their plans going forward. So no more delay, let's just get right into this. So they started off this dev blog with reviewing the second half of the 0.9.7 update cycle. It started with 0.9.7.91, which introduced free roam building, and its following updates which improved and fine-tuned this edition. They also mentioned how 0.9.7.85 Experimental has been successfully rolled out to the Xbox players for testing, and then reviewed their other experimental builds that they rolled out on PC in the last few months that I've been covering on this channel. From here, they began to cover some new features that they are working on. First, they intend to bring a new storage method for logs that will save in folders that are named after the date and time of that round. These new logs will be deleted after a set number of rounds to ensure they don't cause any storage issues. But the new structure will make finding the log for a specific round far easier, which will make bug reporting and stuff like that far easier as a byproduct. Another thing they have planned is they'll be getting rid of the dedicated server ID system and replacing it with an owner token.bin file which they didn't really explain why they're doing this, but it seems like it's going to make generation easier and making server setup easier, but I'm not really sure. Lastly, they showcased a work in progress image of their future plans to a, a new expected terrain and grass shader update that they are working on, which will soon let us edit the appearance of the terrain and glass clusters on a map using the satellite map. This is the first time they've mentioned a terrain and grass shader update, so I'm excited for whatever that is. So honestly, it's a tiny, uninteresting dev block, but it's the first one since 0.9.7's full release months ago, and it's a nice quick review of the second leg of 0.9.7. I'm hopeful that these new features that they are teasing are released as part of a larger 0.9.8 sooner rather than later. But until we see them, we're just going to have to wait and see. So until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.